YouTube. So it's your girl Shippity here. So I finally got a chance to film a video for you guys. I know I've been complaining on my social media how I don't get a chance to film. I don't have time to film my videos. I work full time and I'm here with my son and he's gonna be a co-star part of my channel. So I finally got an opportunity to use the new Jacqueline Hill collection, her from her new ball collection. I got Ring the Alarm. So you want to see how I like that collection. You want to see how I got this look. You want to see my stuff, so my process. If you want to like, comment, and give me any suggestions, anything you want to see, anything you don't want to see, continue to watch this video, and like, comment, subscribe. Thank you. Bye. Hi, you guys. So welcome back to my channel. So I already went ahead and did my brows and um, primed my eyelids for my eyeshadow. Um... I'm gonna get the paddle out. I at least got the makeup out, right? I need to put my makeup in the drawer of my vanity. I actually don't know what palette we're gonna use today. I think I'm gonna use this one. It's the um Jacqueline Hill with Morphe palette. It's the one from the vaults. Um, it doesn't have a name. Which one? Ring the alarm. That's the name of this palette. It actually wasn't the one I wanted. I actually ended up purchasing the wrong one, but I'm going to go back and get it. But, yeah, it's okay. I still love this palette. I think I'm going to use just this palette for today. Um, the palette that I want, I think I'm going to go back and get it. So, it doesn't really matter. We're going to get it together. So, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go in with this transition shade called Rush. I'm going to put that right into my crease. Well, I like that. I used this color before, but I like this color. I really like dark palettes and dark colors. You're going to learn that about me. I like color color, but I really like dark palettes and color, like neutrals and stuff like that. I don't really play too much in color, but I'm learning to. But I really do love neutrals and stuff like that. So I got a chance to film, an opportunity to film for you guys. So I took it and ran with it. Christian, he's going to probably be my co-star, is with his father at his uncle's house. So I'm like, oh, let me attempt to film a video while they're gone. So lucky us. More me, you. This is my favorite brush. This is my favorite um, blending brush. This brush came from Amazon, and it doesn't have any numbers, and they just has VS Mauve on the on the brush. I like when the brush do tell you what it's for, but everybody's different. You gotta learn the brushes, but I have been learning that too. What brush do you wish which? Yeah. pretty that's pretty so next we're gonna go in the color from the same palette mug shot we're gonna put that right in the same right above but we just put that first one it's so quiet in my house only me and Jax is here and I'm telling y'all, that is a rare equation. I'm never alone. Ooh. I saw another color. I'm like, oh, she is black. <laughs>
So I'm gonna switch brushes on you guys because it's like another brush will be easier for me to do for my next shade. My vanity's like a mess. Nothing's in order, but we're gonna get it together. I kinda like it like that. <coughs> Excuse me. I kinda like it like that. I don't know why. I think I just, I'm addicted to chaos. So I'm gonna take this BH Cosmetic Brush number seven. What, what brush shade is this from? I think this might be the Rose Gold um, brush collection. So I'm gonna go with another, that third shade, Alert. And put that right there. I'm literally listening to the keeping up with Kardashian as I'm doing it. I know my people don't like them, but I love them. They ain't done nothing to nobody. Could they ask for this life? They was it was granted to them. So I'm going to take my favorite, favorite blending brush. And I'm going to blend those eyeshadows out. So the most important thing about eyeshadow is really blending. Your blending. It has to be blended. Like, if you even put the most crazy colors together, as long as you blend them right, you will be fine. So it's all about the blend game. And my favorite blending brush came from my Ipsy bag. Um... Where is it? I'm gonna freak out. Came from my Ipsy bag. I think a very when I a very 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 long time ago. Where is it? Here it is. I got this brush from my Ipsy bag. It's it just says blending on there. That's all it says, and it looks like this. That's it. I love this brush. We're gonna just take that. And put all those eyeshadows together. So, so as we bend those eyeshadows out, we're gonna cut our crease. We're gonna attempt to cut the crease anyway. So I'm gonna use the same eyeshadow, me the same uh, concealer I use, and this is the uh, Maybelline New York Instant Rewind Concealer in the color Golden. I'm just gonna pump this up a little bit, put that on the back of our hand. Put the top back on. I'll be feeding to put the top back on the concealer because I can dry out. Tap, tap. So a trick I learned of one of the YouTubers is you just put a little bit right here. Then you look up. Because it's going to be right where you first cut the crease at. So you see where it stopped at? So you look up right eyes a little bit. And then 
from the start to cut the rest of it. I just got finished washing my show shop objects on um hbo it was so good i haven't watched power at all this season but the first episode forgive me i've seen every season of power for some reason this season i haven't had i haven't had i haven't felt like oh my god i want to watch it i don't know i get like double shows like i've been watched this is us Beautiful show. I love that show, but I couldn't bring myself to watch the second season. So it's so many shows that I'm behind that I want to binge watch, but it's so much TV and I'm just one person and I work full time. And when I do have downtime, I want to practice my makeup. So that's what I'm doing. So that's what's going on right now, but. Shop Artrex is off. That was, it was the last season finale was last night. I just watched it today. If I was at work, I probably would have watched it at work. But I just watched it. It was good. I knew it was the mama. The mama or the sister. They both crazy. So of course. They see the family how you like, but was the sister having a mom? Probably will. So we're gonna just set that concealer with some powder. So the powder I'm using is the um, Aspen powder, um, blue space powder in the color Sunset. So I bought this from Target maybe, and it's the wrong color. It's the wrong color, but I found some use for it, so I use it to set all my eyeshadows. I don't use it on my face because it gives me flashback. It's pink. I'm a black girl. Of course, I can use it. But yeah, it gives me flashback, so. We're going to open the palette back. Oh, I like this. Hold on. I'm just watching this color. Oh, that's pretty. So we're going to go back with that color. We're going to take that same color, Alert. Sometimes I forget what colors I use, y'all. Forgive me. Alert. No, I don't think I'm going to do my crease area first. So, we're going to take that color, boom, and we're going to put that all over this area. Let's see? One second, so you guys can see better. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's really pretty. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, so we're gonna put, pat that into our face area. You might have to come back in a little. I might go in a little further. Let's see. I like shimmer colors. I need to buy me some glitter. Like, that's what I need in my life is glitter. For some reason, when I buy makeup, it's hard for me to commit to it. I don't know why, but it's hard. Like, I will look at it 48 times, know that I want it, know that I have the, the, the funds to buy it. But I won't commit to it. I don't know why. But I'm like that. Like the reason, only reason I have this palette is because I kind of didn't pay for it because I had a gift card. So it's not really my money. But it's my money at the same time. Oh, 
I'm looking for my brush. You probably gonna see me do that a lot, y'all. Now I'm gonna blend those eyeshadows out with my blending brush. Blending brush. Blending brush. Oh, I dropped it. Look at that same blending brush. Just blend that out. Just gonna do the same thing to the other side. This tap might, might take a little time. This is my struggle side. See, look at that. I didn't even attempt to do that. It's like everything on the side takes me up. back. But yeah, okay. yeah, I actually found this one in the car, but yeah, didn't I use a primer too, I primed my face too, Elijah and Andre are here, not Elijah, but Andre and Christian are here, hi Christian! Is he woke? Four lashes. But when I go, I don't like them. I feel like they they gonna overpower my face. I don't like the way some of those look. And I feel like I have a big enough eye area or face area where I can just wipe anything so I can stick to what I know. Christian says, my co star. I get a little bit tacky. Give me a quick one. To those queens who don't know how to put on false lashes, all you are doing is putting them right on top of your real lashes. That's all you're doing. And I learned back watching the two videos. And you just gotta practice it. Cause my primer, my primer, I use the Elf Hydrating Face Primer. Like I said, I have dry skin. Let it dry, let it cool down, Christian. So I color correct because I have dark circles. So I use this um, True Complexion HD Corrector from Black Radiance. But if you get the one from Alex, girl, it's the same. Just get the color orange. I don't even know how I got this. I think I was at Target one day, shopping, buying things that I did need, and for some reason this ended up making a cut by accident. 
Oh, look down, she already had one of that. Then we're gonna put that like on my dark spots. Put it around my mouth and put it out there. Then I just stop putting it when they're safe as you can see. And take that booty blender. It's not wet, it's a little bit damp though. I'm just gonna blend it out. I used to color correct my eyes too, but depends on what I'm doing I can't it doesn't my eyeshadow doesn't come out good all that white let me fix that so after that's done I go in with my um concealer I use this tart tape shake concealer this thing is $27 y'all I only use this every once in a while I don't use this a lot It's like cause every time you see somebody using tart shape, everybody using the same color. Then you get it. You be like, this ain't the color. It's raining so hard. It's gonna rain all week in Chicago. Then they supposed to be marching on the expressway to one of the two. I'm gonna y'all she look crazy as hell. But don't worry about it. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. We're gonna get it together. I like my eyeshadow. Another thing I had to work on with eyeshadow hey, is remember the colors hey, I use. Hey, oh my hey, god. You talking about, I will do my eyeshadow and I will forget what order I used to do them in. That's why you're supposed to do your eyeshadow at the same time. Especially if you knew and started out. Use them at the same time. Because I used to forget, child. I'd be like, I said, like this, like. That's what I'm supposed to do. So, it's foundation time. I'm using the Maybelline 25 Hour Foundation in the color 360 Mocha. But I'm... But the thing is about me and this foundation and both all my foundation I have, like now it's not matching me. Even though know, I matched myself at the store, I matched myself on my neck, which is practically my chest on my neck. And now I feel like it's not blending with my skin anymore. Maybe because I use the color corrector now, but I have to wipe my hand off. But yeah, it's not blending in with my skin anymore. So now I'm like. Huh? Because I didn't have these problems at first. So now my plan is to get the foundation color by the this one, which is 355, I believe. And see how that works out. I used. I'm using the brush. This is my Kabuki brush from Lamora. It's also from Amazon. I used to use my sponge 
But I used to have a hard time using the spoon trying to get between my T zone. So I went back to my brush. But whichever you prefer, both are good. With this, um, it's buildable, but it depends on what I'm doing, where I'm going. Like yesterday, I did a um a soft, regular look because I wasn't really doing anything yesterday, and I used the CoverGirl True Blend foundation. Like I'm almost done with this, so I just scraped it from the bottle on the bottle, and I used like a little bit of it because if I'm almost going anyway, and I ain't really going to use it. But it's a lot of foundation is just at the bottom. So. To switch up concealer sometimes. Um, the same concealer I use for my eyeshadow, I mean to prime my eyes. Just a couple of dots. I usually do the little triangle thing, but I'm not gonna do that. Just a little bit. I like the applicant, Christian. That's okay. So we're gonna go in with the wet, not a wet, but damp beauty blender, and we're gonna blend this concealer out. I need to clean my video. Probably my favorite part, the concealer part. Doing the foundation with the concealer. I don't know. I love it. This is my first product I ever bought on my own. I love her. She was like the first person that inspired me to do my makeup, and I learned so much from her. So when she came out on palette through BS Cosmetics, I had to get it. And it was. Did I buy this for myself? I bought this myself for my birthday. It came out on November 16th. My birthday was on November 23rd. Impress it to myself about this. So I'm going to go in with the color Brownie Bite. That's my contour shade. Mm -hmm. What you doing, Jack? I don't come to my nose. Something else I'll probably need to practice, but I don't contour my nose. So we're gonna go set all that stuff with the cover girl. I used the cover girl translucent powder in the color warm. I'm gonna do my really good to do my palette today. I usually use a brush, but lightly. We're just going to press that powder into our skin under our eyes. Like, ever so gently watch. We're going to set everything. Everything wet, we got to set with something dry. Hello, handsome dancer. Me? Yep. Hey. How are you doing? Good. You so excited for school tomorrow? So, 
I'm gonna let that set for a minute, boys and girls. And we're gonna go back into our eyes. With some mascara. So I have two mascaras at the same time. It's the uh, L'Oreal Paris Va Valumous Voluptuous in Curve and the Original. And let me tell y'all something about me and mascara. It's a struggle. I don't know why, but we don't get along. Oh yeah, and I also got a new uh, one from my Instagram, Benefit Cosmetics. So I'm gonna be use that one for my bottom lashes. I think I have a hard time because I don't have any bottom lashes. So, of course, that's my problem. I might go back in with some eyeliner. So when I do this, I gotta make sure I ain't really nothing on the brush, cause as you, as I said, it's a struggle. Just said to me, poke my eye. See, see, me and eyeliner, me, <laughs> we go. So when I feel like it looks okay, I stop. Cause usually when it looks okay, I keep going to mess it up. So just me telling myself, stop. So I'm stopping there. I'm gonna go in with uh. As we doing that, we also brushing that powder away. All that excess um, powder. I guess second video, I might use a little brush, blush, 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 blush. Nancy, I don't really have any blushes. That's too pink. I'm not doing that. Um, oh, I can use this blush. Um, this tart um blush I got from my Instagram also. Um, I use this, and it's kind of like this little compact, and it's the color feisty. I'm gonna take one of these big brushes. Dab, 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 dab. I do bronze. I don't really bronze. Like I don't know. Like the bronze that I have, it has um like glitter in it. I don't want that, so I gotta find me another bronzer. Slightly. After we do that, I'm going to go to my. Hmm, what I want to do? Go to my lips. I think we're gonna go to do the lips next. Um, I'm thinking I'll probably do after this. I'll probably um 
set my face with another uh, powder, but my powder broke um, last Sunday at my son's birthday party. It just felt my purse and it broke. So we're gonna go and highlight. I'm gonna use my favorite highlighter. It's also come from it's my favorite palette. And it's the color French Toast. And I'm not really surprised by that because I absolutely love French Toast. Oh my God, the French, the Red Velvet French Toast from the International Continental Breakfast Place that me and Andre go to. Oh my God, it's to die. Take a smaller brush. That in an eye socket. To me, less is more. You don't need a lot. Especially when you're cheered up. You don't want any accidents happening. Now, do we? I don't want to take that brush. I'll have to blend that. Hold up. Highlight out a little bit. We're gonna take that same brush. We're gonna pop that highlight into our brown bone. Next white eyeliner. Yeah, I like that way it is. I'm gonna leave it just like that. Sometimes I have to just put my eyeliner like in just like in the in like the middle of my eye, like just right here. I don't like to break it all the way down. So last is not me, it's our lips. I'm going with my favorite lip pencil from Amazon. And it's from At Italia and it's the color chocolate. Christian Walker. Christian Walker, what are you doing? And we're gonna go with the color, the next color, this NYX NYX NYX, and the color Peanut Brittle. I'm gonna put that all over the lip. Just gonna use that same pencil.
glass and like these girls. We're gonna set that makeup. This is the uh, Elf Miss Magic Missing Set. I also have the uh, Mario Badisi Skin Rose Water. This water is fantastic. It's like $7. That's, you can use it as a set of spray also, but I'm gonna use this. 